For this problem, we are asked to find an equation of the tangent line to the graph of f at the given point and then use a graphing utility to graph the function and its tangent line at the point. So this is number 13 in section 3.6 and here is my function f of x equals arc cosine of x squared and my point is 0 pi over 2. So I know that the first part said to find the equation of a tangent line to the graph of f at the given point. So I know the tangent line, in order to get that equation, I need the slope, and the slope can be found using the derivative of the given function. So I have to take the derivative of this given function, and we see that to take this derivative, I'm going to need the chain rule because I have an outer function of arc cosine, one of those inverse trig functions, and an inner function of um, x squared. So I'm going to use the chain rule to take the derivative, and I know that the derivative of arc cosine is negative 1 over the square root of 1 minus whatever's inside there squared. So I put the x squared inside, and then I have to take the derivative of the x squared function and multiply by that. So then I end up with the derivative of my given function is minus 1 over the square root of 1 minus x to the fourth, all that multiplied by 2x, my derivative of the x squared. So then I see that I can simplify that and I end up with negative 2x over the square root of 1 minus x to the fourth. I'm going to need to substitute in my x coordinate to get my slope. So I do that and I end up with a slope of 0. Okay, so now I have a slope and a point. That means I'm going to use the point slope form to find the equation of my tangent line. And substituting in 0 for x1 and pi over 2 for y1, I substitute in m also, and I end up with y equals pi over 2. Well, that's not surprising because we had a slope of 0, so we knew it was going to be a horizontal line, and it should be of the form y equals a constant where it matches this value. Check. That's what we got. Now our next step is to use a graphing utility to graph the function and its tangent line at this point. So what we're going to do is pull out our calculator, turn it on, I got to go into y equals and clear out what's there. Go to my mode and make sure I'm in radians. So I'm going to y equals, and the first thing I'm going to put in is arc cosine of x squared. Well, on this calculator, I have to use inverse cosine, which is the same thing, of x squared, close paren. And I'm supposed to be between, um, I'm looking for the point 0, 2 pi. So let's go ahead and graph that, all right? So we graph that, and then I'm going to put in also for y2 is going to be my tangent line. So I'm going to put in um, pi divided by 2, and then I'm going to go ahead and graph that, but I can't really see it very well, so I'm going to zoom in, and I'm just going to zoom in around the origin. There's my graph, and there's my tangent line. And that completes this problem. Yeah.